It's been 40 years since the disappearance of Hercules the Bear. Who's that? Don't worry, I'd never heard of him either, but recently I was flicking through old weird and wonderful news articles and came across this somewhat unbelievable story. So who was Hercules? What was his life like? And how did he become a Scottish media icon for a whole generation? Well, he was born in 1975 at the Highland Wildlife Park in Kingusi, and as a cub was swiftly bought for the grand total of 50 pounds. These days that'd get you a great barbecue. Back in the 70s, a grizzly bear. And the man who bought the cub? Ex-professional Scottish wrestler, Andy Robin. Along with his wife Maggie, they raised Hercules as their own. That's to say, domestically. No cages, no chains, no distancing. And just in case this didn't seem bizarre enough, the bear lived on a human diet. It was chicken, spaghetti bolognese, and every now and then, Andy would even walk Hercules down to the local pub for a pint. <sighs> just the bare necessities then. Within a year, the baby bear had grown to a weight of 30 stone. Believing this yet? It gets weirder. You see, Andy had bought the bear with the intention of taking him along on his UK wrestling tour to play fight with him as part of the show. You know, as you do. And after many successful years on tour, Hercules was promoted from wrestling ring to television screen, appearing in adverts and making cameos in films all over the country. Hercules was living it up, but it wasn't until his escapist adventure in the Western Isles that he was shot for worldwide fame. So what happened? On August the 20th, 1980, while filming an advert on the island of Benbecula, Hercules took a short break. With his adoptive father, Andy, they went for a wee swim on the coast, but Hercules mistook the open ocean for his home's backdoor swimming pool. Soon the current became unbearable. Within a few minutes, he drifted out of sight, then began a 24-day search for the now eight foot, 60 stone grizzly bear. After over three weeks of searching, Andy and Maggie were emotionally wrought. They just couldn't bear it. But a local from the island of North Uist, some 15 miles away, reported seeing the bear just walking across the moors. The lost Hercules was tracked down, shot with a tranquilizer dart, and airlifted by helicopter to safety. Upon arrival, Andy and the team discovered that Hercules had barely made it, losing 15 stone. The local islanders all lent a hand in reviving the poor Hercules and reportedly brought him 140 pints of milk. Soon, he'd made a full recovery. And if you think that's the end of Hercules' story, well, just bear with me. The Grizzly went on to appear in many more international adverts, children's television shows, and even appeared in a James Bond movie. And that's not all. Across his career, Hercules appeared on the cover of Time magazine, received a personal telegram from Ronald Reagan, and even in 1981 was named Scottish Personality of the Year. Don't know what that says about the other nominees. His career slowed down as he moved into old age, and in 2001, Hercules died of natural causes at home with his adoptive parents by his side. And there you go, a little baby grizzly cub who went from local Highland Wildlife Park to worldwide fame. Times have undoubtedly changed since the 1970s, but Hercules will always be remembered for the joy he brought to the global public and his loving adoptive parents, Andy and Maggie. Hercules the Grizzly Bear, an unlikely Scottish celebrity, but a global megastar nonetheless. <laughs>